you can't trust mainstream news sources. For years, the biggest news sources have been leaning way left, and all of America has known it. But with Donald Trump's election came the nasty truth. Mainstream news isn't merely biased toward Democrats, they're actively spreading lies and misinformation to sway public opinion. This is a cardinal sin of journalism. Journalists aren't supposed to have an opinion, one way or the other, they're supposed to simply give the public the facts without commentary or bias, and let the people form their own opinion. But that isn't what they do anymore. They think we all need to be educated, so they tell us what to think about everything, and even how to act. The latest example of fake news conspiracy theories, and piss-poor journalism to boot, comes from NBC News. And the evidence is clear, via Breitbart. NBC News is spreading an unfounded conspiracy theory that claims President Trump and newly retired Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy cut a secret deal that ensured Brett Kavanaugh would be chosen as Kennedy's replacement. It began with NBC Capitol Hill reporter Leanne Caldwell, who posted a tweet that read, On Kavanaugh pick Kennedy and Trump, W.H. had been in negotiations for months over Kennedy's replacement. Once Kennedy received assurances that it would be Kavanaugh, his former law clerk, Kennedy felt comfortable retiring, according to a source who was told of the discussions. She followed that tweet with another, which read, Furthermore, the five names Trump added to his list of Federalist-approved judges last November was to get Kavanaugh on that list. The other four names were considered cover, per source. In other words, the decision has been baked for a while. Only after she posted this mess did she reveal the truth which completely erases the validity of her statements. The bottom line is that this was nothing more than one unfounded rumor from one source, and Caldwell didn't even bother trying to confirm any facts. But that's the reporter's job, to confirm the facts before handing them out to the public. As Briet Bard says, this is what I heard is not journalism. This was nothing more than a purposeful attempt by NBC to sway the public and generate more hostility toward President Trump and Kennedy. And not long after this story broke, Caldwell deleted her fake news tweet, which just proves she got caught. And did she offer a retraction or apology? Nope. Oh, by the way, her NBC News colleague Jeff Bennett hasn't deleted his tweet. Source familiar tells NBC that Justice Kennedy had been in negotiations with the Trump team for months over Kennedy's replacement. Once Kennedy received assurances that it would be Kavanaugh, his former law clerk, Kennedy felt comfortable retiring dash at LeCald Weld and at Frank Thorpe. Jeff Bennett, at Geoffrey Bennett, July 10, 2018. How much more evidence do we need before we start ignoring these giant liberal-driven news sources? Don't listen to a word these people say, they don't have a journalist's integrity, they've got a liberal agenda, and they're going to keep ramming it down our throats.